Leanna Walden. So you're in a sexless marriage. Now it's been going on for months, for years, everybody's different. I'm talking about a couple that that is um, communicating, has decided, yes, you know, like we haven't had sex for a long time. Um, they're sick of blaming each other, sick of going on and on about, you know, it's your fault, or sick of being unhappy about the situation, sick of not having enough sex, uh, sick of not understanding why, um, you know, they're bored of their sexual relationship. You got to take charge of your sex life, number one, which means you are ready and willing to do anything that is necessary in order to make some change in what is going on right now in your life. The fact that there's no sex. So you're ready and willing to do anything that is available to you. You're going to try all possibilities until things get better, whatever that has to be. So number one, get yourself get yourself set in that kind of very conscious way of thinking. I am going to take charge of my sex life. Now, let's um, as a couple, you want to do that uh, and, and, and make that uh, declaration to each other. But as individuals, it's the most important that you as an individual is, is going to take charge of your sex life. The next thing that you need to do as an individual first is start to fantasize and, and um, really think carefully about what it, kind of sex life that you want to have. Now, what you've had up to this point, probably there have been points that have been really great and, and satisfactory and fun, um, maybe really exciting and passionate, but now um, it's not working between you and your partner. It hasn't been working for a long time. It probably uh, was getting boring and you were becoming complacent. So you can't go back to the way that it was. You have to pull out some new desires, some new things that are going on within you to find what it is, is going to turn, that's going to turn you on now. So uh, I would strongly suggest to first, you know, to write down for yourself individually what kinds of things turn you on, whatever they are. Um, what kind of like uh, ideal sex life or s what would you like? What, what types of things are going to get you really excited? What types of things can you do sexually that you know, get you excited, but you know, they're also kind of scary for you. Uh, so write all these things down. Both of you will do this. Once you've done that and you're, you're feeling like, okay, I've got a nice big list here. Um, and if you're able to, because you are communicating and you both are taking charge of your sex life, you're going to do whatever it takes. You're going to give each other those lists. You could do this by list. You can do this by talking. Um, but sometimes it's easier by list because then, you know, you just can sort of focus on yourself and write down without any kind of input from your partner. Give your partner that list. You have their list. They have your list. Now, here you have a list of all these desires and wants and, and exciting sexual things that your partner is interested in trying and doing. doesn't mean you're going to do them, but you have an idea now. Okay, well, there's a lot of interesting things here, and you, there may be some similar things to what you are interested in doing as well. Now, we want to build some kind of sexual energy because that's what's been lost. The sexual energy between the two of you has gone down to zero. So it's going to take a little bit of time to build this up. And so generating sort of a list will help to start, you know, getting it stirring inside of you and inside of her. And then tapping into that desire. So what your partner wants to feel is not your techniques or um, you know just having sex because for the sake of having sex they want to feel your desire for them you know you want to feel your partner come up to you and like they think you're so gorgeous and hot and they just want to have you and they think you're the most beautiful thing and so you want to feel that desire so now what kinds of things would you like your partner to do to you that would you know, that would make you feel good, that you're thinking, why aren't they doing that? Why aren't they doing this? You know, all this complaining, like that they never give you any attention, they never give you compliments, that they never come up to you and snuggle with you, that they never suggest any kind of interesting sexual thing or do anything spontaneous. So you may have all of these things that are never happening from your partner that you've been complaining about or you've given up on. Well, these are the kind of things that you need to put out in order to get these things back, in order to see, think of your partner as a mere reflection of you. So you want to start putting out little things like this uh, concerning things that you would actually like to have come back to you, that you would like to have played out in your relationship. So you've got to start building the sexual energy within yourself. And as you build it within yourself by putting it out there, you're going to start to see more of that coming back to you. Your partner is not going to reflect negatively. Well, they might initially because they'll be shocked. Like, 
why are you saying I look really sexy? I haven't said that for like years and now you're telling me I look sexy and you really like to see me in a, in a cute pair of underwear, right? Whatever. Don't give up. Don't take anything personally. This is about you taking charge of your sex life. So, well, you are looking really gorgeous today and I bought you some really cute underwear and I'd love to see you in them. I'd love to see what they look like on you. Oh, I don't want to do that. Oh, come on, please. Let me see you. And keep in the moment. Keep in the moment. Doesn't matter how what, what's going on with them at this moment. They want to feel your desire. Keep this desire, like this picture of what you want. Keep building it. So every week, try to do something that's going to help build this sexual energy within your body so that you're starting to feel sexy or you're starting to feel more in tune with your sexuality and your sexual needs. And they're feeling that energy coming from you. Um, you have to realize that you have to, you know, throughout your relationship, you are going to be creating lots of different kinds of sexual, um, like you have, okay, how do I put this? Throughout your relationship, you have a certain sex life when you start, and that sex life is going to change numerous times as you go through your relationship, if you want to have a healthy sex life. So those changes require the change within you for you to find and explore what is going on with me, what else is going to turn me on. Uh, this, is, this is one big reason why a lot of people go and cheat behind their partner's back because, you know, it's exciting. The first time you meet someone, it's scary and it's exciting and it's thrilling and so you have this little affair and, and you know, it lasts only so long and then, you know, you're back to the beginning again. Uh, and so that's sort of the end of your exploration. It's just like this initial burst of energy, uh, having this, you know, this burst of sexual energy. But, you know, you love your partner. You don't know why you're doing that. Well, it's because the sexual energy, you're not allowing it to build. You're not allowing it to deepen, to go into some other areas of who you are sexually, finding some other spaces. Um, and so that is what we're going to try to work on in order to get out of this sexless marriage. Uh, if you would like more information, give me an email, uh, and we can have a chat. It's Liana Walden, Sex and Relationship Coach. Much love.